Hi there, Chase here, and in this video, we're going to talk about controlling users' permissions. Um, so we can see here I'm on settings team management page, and I've added a second user for myself here. Um, and I'm going to tweak the permissions for this user and show you what that does. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit on them and I'm signed into that in a different browser so we can check it out. And as you can see right here, all of my permissions are turned on, right? So when I go into that account, I can see everything over here. I could see all the opportunities that are in my pipelines. I can see all the conversations in context. But if I come back here and let's say, the first thing let's talk about is campaigns read only. This is nice if you don't want your clients to be able to edit campaigns. A lot of times, They'll open it up, start clicking around, and then oh, all of a sudden I deleted something and I don't know what it was and blah, blah, blah. It can cause a major headache. So it's nice to turn this on for your client's access so that they can't edit anything within the campaigns, but they can see what are in the campaigns. Um, but let's start turning things off, right? Let's say um, I didn't want them to be able to see reviews. I don't want them to be able to see lead values or AdWords reporting. I don't want them to be able to see anything in the marketing, so they don't need to know what's in the campaigns or the forms or any of that. I'm going to turn that off. Um, and let's see, triggers, I definitely don't want them to be able to mess with, and um, campaigns either. So let's see, and funnels. I build the funnels, they don't need to see those either, so I'm going to turn that off. Okay, so I need to remember to hit save on my changes, and now if I hop back into this account over here, and I give it a refresh, I can see that a lot of things have disappeared, right? I can no longer see triggers. I can no longer see a bunch of things over here. Um, it has limited my ability to go into different sections of the app. Um, let's hop back and now let's talk about something else. I'm gonna turn everything back on. And I'm gonna turn off only assigned, or sorry, I'm gonna turn on only assigned data. So by default, this is off. If I turn this on, what's gonna happen is, let's go into um, the pipeline for a second here. And let's check out this pipeline. And I'm gonna save this so it reverts back. So we can see, I can see all these opportunities, right? Um, and you can see here, I only have two that are actually assigned to me as this user, but I can see everything. If I come in here and I go back to this and turn this on, I'm only going to be able to see data that is assigned to me. So that's users that got assigned to me through campaign settings, that's appointments that were created by those users, that, or so I should say contacts, appointments created by those contacts, conversations, opportunities. So when I turn this on and I hit save and I go back over here to my pipeline, we can see everything disappeared except for the ones that were explicitly assigned to me. So this is great if you have a sales team and you don't want people to be able to see each other's, you know, what they're working on, their leads, to be able to visually block that out. This is um, a great way to do that. But it's, it's use this with caution, right? Because what we see a lot is people turn this on, not really understanding what it is, and then it's like, where did all my contacts go? Where did all my conversations, my opportunities, I can't find anything. Well, it's because they weren't assigned to you. So as soon as this got turned on, all that stuff disappears from your dashboard unless it actually was assigned to you. So again, if I turn this off and I hit save, and now I bounce back, all that stuff comes back. So just be aware before you turn that on, that's a quick overview of user permissions.